In a world of mandatory must-haves, the topic of environmental sustainability can often feel like a nice-to-have, especially in healthcare. But what if you could look at green as a savings engine and not an expense? The Medline Newsroom takes you behind the scenes of the company's newest facility in Oregon, where teams are bringing single-use medical devices back to new through reprocessing and driving new thinking around savings. Yeah. With the cut of a ribbon, it's official. But don't let the typical exterior fool you. Inside, the building is buzzing, thanks to a specialized and detailed group of technicians dedicated to one thing, making single-use devices that are just like new. It's called reprocessing. Reprocessing is something that happens in every hospital and every surgery center in the United States. They have a central supply department where they take your reusable instruments and bring them back to life. The process we have is very similar, but it has to be a little more sophisticated because the devices we are reprocessing are typically higher tech and are also made of different substrates. So we have to have a process that works with those devices. According to Practice Green Health, hospitals in the U.S. produce nearly 5 million tons of waste per year. We actually do quite a variety of devices here. It's, it's amazing what a hospital can go through. So instead of tossing things out like compression sleeves or other devices and instruments, refurbishing to a like new condition is possible through the Medline Renewal Program. Teams test and inspect every device using FDA recognized standards for safe patient use. It's all part of rigorous reprocessing standards. Here's how it works. We're going to decontaminate the device and get them clean. That's the first part. It's been used in a case. We have to get it back to clean so we can utilize the device again and it's safe for our staff. At that point, we identify the device and then we go into refurb or refurbishment. We literally are going to take these devices apart and put them back together again. Uh, we can re-insulate devices that are electronic to make sure the insulation's pristine. We test every device in that room. So we plug them into the generators that uh, they're used on in the hospitals to make sure they work really well. And we inspect the devices between eight and 10 times before they go into the final packaging and sterilization. So that's really the process from front to back. The Medline Renewal Program has an average savings potential ranging from $200,000 to $2 million. Everything from a simple saw blade, which is pretty easy to reprocess, to a complicated electrical surgical device that can really you know, save our customers a great deal of money and it, it works like it's brand new and it's, it's really a skill we have here is taking these complicated devices and bringing them back to new. With more and more hospital systems finding value in this approach, the company needed to expand its footprint. This plant that we just opened up triples our, our capacity. Not only that, but it gives our workers a better environment. The rooms are four and a half times larger than the space we were in before. It also gives credibility to the program and lets our customers know we mean it. We're in the space, we own the space, we've designed it for reprocessing for the future. And it's, a really, it's been a neat project signaling that we're in reprocessing to stay. In the last three years alone, Chica says nearly a million pounds of waste has been diverted from landfills through the Medline Renewal Program. Learn more about renewal and the impact it's making to healthcare and the environment by visiting Medline.com. I'm Vivica Panagio-Takakos for the Medline Newsroom. We'll see you next time.